Hey everybody. So tonight um, I have to have a uh, sort of a view only uh, lesson and this is uh, how to create uh, your own styles of grass and view. Um, it's a pretty useful technique to know. Uh, it's a kind of an advanced one. So um, let's get started. Okay, so here I've uh, fired up View 2015. Now, um, if you've been following me up till now, you'll notice that uh, I was using a View 9.5. Now I've gone to a View Complete 2015. I've decided to uh, upgrade and get to the, uh, or at least get to a more modern version. And um, so I spent about um, $420, $480 on it, maybe, I think. I don't remember the exact price. It was under $500. It was on sale. It was... 20% uh, off, I believe, um, and that sounds pretty expensive, but if you take into account the fact that I make anywhere between $50 and $200 per uh, per print sale, uh, a couple of months of print sales will easily pay for it, so it's a pretty good investment. Um, so now we're going to get started here. I'm just going to pick uh, empty terrain, or an empty scene here, and I'm going to delete the ground plane. It just gets in my way. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a terrain. And I do that by clicking on this little mountain button over here. And you can see a terrain popped in. And I'm going to move that back away from the camera now. And decrease the height because I just want rolling hills. And the main camera, I'm going to tilt up just a bit so that the horizon line is not cr quite across the middle because that's... That's a bad place to have the horizon line in the composition. You want it either about a third of the way up or a third of the way down. So we'll put it about there. And that kind of gives us a nice receding uh, landscape right there. Now what I'm going to do is cover it. Well, first of all, I'm going to change the, uh, the material. I'm going to make it look like a dirt of some sort. So here we have terrain scapes. And actually, I think I just want a plain old landscape. My favorite is, here we go. This is my favorite right here, this sediment. Doesn't look a whole lot different, but it's a finer dirt looking thing you can see here in the preview window. Let's make that preview window a bit bigger. There we go. So it looks kind of like a desert right now. So let's add some plants to this. And to do that, I'm going to double click on this, and I am going to turn this into an ecosystem. And to do that, I just pick one of the materials, and from the drop down menu right here, I select this uh, ecosystem slash particles. And now I'm going to add a plant to this. I'm going to pick this, uh, this one here, this Carex, which is just sort of a long, wavy plant. And we'll click Populate. That's probably going to make too many of them. Yeah, it's going to ask for six million. We don't need that many. And that's because we probably have it too small. Let's increase the size to 10 and populate that. And you see it kind of went up only along the upper edge here. And I only have about 1,700 in in instances. So let's um, change the coverage so that it uh, goes all the way to the ground. Try that again. And now you see we've covered this uh, the whole landscape. It's pretty sparse still. So let's make it thicker. And under the scaling tab, we're going to change the maximum size variation to, let's say, 2. So no, nothing's evenly sized. And I'm going to make the direction from the surface perpendicular. This will make it so that everything's not straight up and down. And now we've got this nice covered look here. Let's do a quick preview render and see how that looks. And that's really small. It's not much bigger than the uh, preview window that we have. So let's uh, send this up to the full screen. And you do that by clicking this button here. And now we'll do a preview render. OK, well, that looks pretty good. But let's say I want something. I want this to be a wheat field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, I'm going to create a new plant type. And so this is where it's going to get a little bit complicated. This is a kind of an advanced view thing. But um, it, it's uh, a pretty good thing to know. Okay, so actually I'm going to start in uh, GIMP for this. And what I have loaded here is just a stock image of a uh, stalk of wheat. And we're going to use this to make our, uh, our new uh, 
solid growth plant in uh, view. So to start with, we need a, a square image. So I'm just going to create a new image. And we'll make it a 512 square. And I'm going to just copy this wheat into that. But first I need to make sure it's the right size. So I'll uh, resize the image so that the longest dimension is 512. And it looks really tiny there, so we'll increase the size to, or the uh, the zoom. Okay, so now we're back at zoomed at 100, and I'm just going to uh, copy this and paste it in here. And then we'll just uh, anchor that layer. Okay, now for some reason, View wants them to be upside down. So we'll uh, rotate this 180 degrees. Okay, and now we have it upside down. Now, uh, the first thing we're going to do actually is create a, the mask for this. And that's just a, an image where the stuff that's going to show will be all black. And to do that, we just um, use the uh, color selector and select the white. And then we're just going to invert that by hitting uh, select and invert. And then we'll just select a solid black color and just a large brush. We'll just use the pencil. And you can see here the brush is large enough to cover it. And just make that black. And then what I'm going to do is save that off. And we'll save it to the desktop as wheat mask dot jpeg. And then I'm going to undo. So select none. Um, and then I'm going to actually fill in all this white with a color that's similar to the wheat. Because uh, what will happen is uh, if we don't do this, we'll get kind of white speckles in our, uh, our solid growth plant, and we don't want that. So I'm going to use the eyedrop tool here and just sort of pick something from the middle of the wheat, get a middle tone of the wheat color, and then use this, the, uh, paint or the paint spill tool. And we'll set the threshold up pretty high, up to around 100-ish. And that fills in and gets rid of all the white. Now, if you have it too low, here, I'll undo that real quick. You'll see the, you'll get this white speckly type stuff along the ends, and you don't want that. So, um, be sure and use something that's a threshold that's high enough that it doesn't obliterate your actual, your base shape, but gets rid of all the white edge or most of the white edges. And that'd be pretty good. And we'll save that. Export as, and we'll just call that wheat. And we'll go back into view now. Okay, so here we are back in view, and I've just started with an empty scene. And all I'm going to do is create a uh, a single instance of, well, we'll just use grass. And let's move that to where we can see it in front of the camera. Make it large enough to actually see. That should do right there. And we'll just make that the whole scene for now. So you can see here, this is the basic uh, short green grass that comes with uh, View Complete. But we're going to change this to our wheat grass. And to do that, I just go down here to, um, now it's a little hard to see, I might have to move this here, to our patch of grass. And I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to, first of all, shape it to be a little bit more like wheat. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. And I'm going to remove some of that flexibility so it all points upwards. And now here comes the part where we actually switch it out to make it look like wheat. We click on this little leaf here. And what you get here is two pictures, the color picture and the alpha picture. And that's where we're going to load the, uh, the wheat and the wheat mask uh, files that we just created. So I just click here. Um, now I get this thing, it shows me any recent files I've loaded. You have to click on this folder up here to get to the file system, and we're already on the desktop. So we'll select our wheat.jpg, and we'll do this again, and we'll select our wheatmask.jpg. And this is a little bit important, you got to make sure this red dot here is at the base of the wheat stalk which is right there. It looks a little funny here, but it'll look okay when it uh, comes out over here. 
And so now we got something that looks more like wheat. Let's uh, reduce that flexibility a bit more. There we go. And now we've got something that looks pretty good. It looks like wheat. So we'll just um, save this off as a solid growth plant. And the magic to do this is to click this thing right here. It looks like a little helix. I guess it's supposed to be DNA or something. And a picture of a little floppy disk. And then you just save it somewhere in your view uh, library and the view plants. We'll do it under personal here. Actually, I think I'll do it under uh, grasses. And we'll just call it see, my wheat one. And we'll save that off. All right, so um, now if you want to use this, I think you need to restart view. So I'm going to restart view, and then I'm going to load our wheat field scene. Okay, so here we are looking at the wheat field that we'd created before. And now I'm just going to go into the terrain material, just double click here. And I'm going to get rid of that Carex, so we'll just delete that. Trash can there. And we're going to add a new, a new plant. And if we go into, um, you might have to look around here. Here's our personal, actually we created it under grass. And we called it My Wheat. Oh, there it is. My Wheat 1. And we had that up at about a size 10 before, so we'll just keep it there and we'll hit populate. And it made it way too big. But we can uh, reduce the size of that, so we'll, uh, so we'll go down to 2. That still looks a little too big here in the preview window, so we'll go down to, let's go down to 0.5. And now we're getting somewhere. It's looking a little bit too orangish for my liking, so I can always just change the color by going in here to the overall color, and uh, let's lighten it up a bit. There we go, that looks something a bit more like a wheat field. So now let's do a quick preview render and see how it looks. All right, and here it is, and now we have sort of something that looks a bit more like a wheat field. Now it looks a bit rough. I might have to do a final render to make it look better, so we'll, we'll do that real quick. But um, maybe I'll shrink the size of the plants down a little bit too. So we'll go down to 0.3. And then we'll set that up for a final render, and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so our render is done. Um, like I said, this was just a quick test of this. It looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but uh, it's something that I did pretty quick here just for demonstration. You can spend a lot of time looking for just the right setup to, to uh, make this work. But uh, it's a pretty good technique to know. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed this, and have a good evening. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more or read some of my articles or even check out some of my art, you can find me on my blog at www.introvertartist.com. And here I post articles on how to make art, how to sell it online, tools that you can use. Uh, I have links to my gallery as well as a, you can subscribe to my newsletter here. And my newsletter is something I send out every Wednesday with news on my latest uh, artworks, articles, videos promotions, discounts, and I even throw in a few a free computer wallpaper every week. So thanks everybody and good night.